The widest in the rear I've ever ran was an 18 by 10 with a 28 offset. It's pretty wide. Yeah, with like a 205. A 205? Yeah. That's crazy. What the heck? Yeah. The widest that I've ever... Well, I have only had one set of stretched uh, stretched tires on a set of wheels in my life. And it was, a, uh, it was an 1810 as well. Um, but I think I had a 235 on it. Oh, so, yeah. That's not, that's, but it's, it, that's a baby stretch. It was a baby stretch, but it was stretched. You need it. Because I wanted enough space because I was going for the look where, uh, you know, everyone wants to look like that you probably had where you bring the fender just perfectly. Oh, the fender would yeah, come in just, just like a. Yeah, just perfect, like, like, perfectly like a between the, uh, you know, the outer lip and the uh, tire. I should have, I should have just sent Max a bunch of photos of that. Could have. But, uh, yeah, that was a look I went for when I had a little stancy pants in me, you know? Yeah, stance is really... But I was running a 10 rear on a, tw- uh, a 2012 SI, and uh, it didn't fit. Nothing fit. No, so, it's, uh, of course. So I, had a, I had a camber uh, uh, camber arm set up back there, and that's what allowed me to have a little extra... A little extra... A little extra... A little more, yeah, little the, more tilting. And I was noise. low on coils. I was really low. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not going to pull the picture on the podcast, but uh, I can find a picture of myself where you would just, it's just ground, <laughs> static, like real low. And I, um, yeah. I had 17. There was one time I had 17 by nines in the front, 17 by tens in the rear. Staggered, reversed, wait, well, f- staggered on a front wheel drive car. I think 85, 90% of my wheels were staggered on that car. What the hell were you thinking? Stance. Man, that's crazy. What what else was I thinking? It wow, was stance. That's that's crazy. I, I did the eighteen tens. I had my fitment was mwah, magnifico. You know, give me that. Mm. It's magnifico. But your driving was not. No, absolutely not. It was terrible. Yeah, I, I, I had the square set up when I did the eighteen tens and. Uh, uh, a little bit of rubbing in the front, but after a couple, uh, you know, baseball bats here and there, it, started, it <laughs> see, worked okay. See, with the air ride, we would use uh, magazines and phone books. How's that work? So you would air up, then you would apply as many magazines or books, something soft. So then when you aired out, the fender would kind of. Well, I used to do the baseball bat and then you roll a little bit. Even there's been times where like I've buckled in the rear fender and like could just magazine trick it and. Pops right back out. Jeez. Only once did I. Well, actually, eventually got to the point because it was uneven with the with the fender rolling that I actually got someone with the actual the real fender roll, the one that goes on. To I the don't up. think I've my cars. I probably only seen that once. Anything else has been like pry clamps, my hands, magazines. A mallets. Once or twice. Really? Yeah. Oh for the God, rear. Savage heat guns. Yeah. Or, right. you, or you just don't even care. At that point, it was before I wrapped it. I didn't really care about the paint, so there was uh, <laughs> no need for the heat gun. Oh, man. Well, then, so wh- what do you think about today? Do you see as much people doing, like, stretch tires today as, as we used to? I think versus, like, 10 years ago, I saw it get crazier, and I then I feel like it started to decrease a little bit. I feel like a lot of people started to go a little bit more conservative on fitment. I feel like it's a lot of bit. I feel like I, when I was like really into it, I went from stretch tires, and I said, "This is a this is a freaking headache. Like, it, it, it's, it's a headache, it's, man. It's a and, look. It's all for the look." And then there was one point where I really wanted to do like a rally type setup for my car, mm-hmm. which was like polar opposite. Like, obviously, like. You know, but now I think what what's really popular is a uh, uh, you know kind of like flush kind of meaty tire set. Oh, oh, go to that, go to that Celica, go to that. Okay. No, 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 down, uh, down, 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 down. It's the one. silver ones, right? Yeah, look, look at that. That's a stretch right there. That's that's something I don't think I'd. I no, I never. No, absolutely not. I remember when this thing started getting hot. This was like 2014, maybe. When this car was built, I remember seeing that thing all over the internet. Everybody went crazy for it. Yeah, Static well, too. That's horrible. I don't know. <laughs> it's it, again, you know, it is what it is. It's not. It's for the wow factor. It's for the what the yeah, yeah, right, right. You know, 
see that's the, the camber is ridiculous but see that kind of fender in between tire and the, and yeah, the, the outer if lip if you that's zoomed kinda... in if you zoomed in on that photo like you clearly see the barrel there like yeah that thing you take one sharp turn that tire is coming off have you ever had a tire deep beat on you never it's not fun never it's not fun it is, i don't it, is really it sounds not, like a it horrible is, time it is really not fun i've had plenty of horrible flats but no db no i've had a i've had a db just airing up and like slowly driving away and like once i turn the wheel like just pops right off God. and then i've had it at a higher speed and don't get me wrong i didn't crash or like really lose control but it happens like instantly i mean i, I don't think it's as popular or co as common as it used to be to be honest like i think it's gotten less extreme like the the people were taking it to an extreme for a while but mm -hmm. i feel like that just you know it decreased a bit like that's fine for me like that's really that's okay yeah, that's, that, 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 that works that, for me. That's basically how mine was, a little baby stretch like that. I used to be crazy, dude. I remember one time I was in Helen, and this mm -hmm. was back when, like, my Stancy Boy wheels were in. Real and, Stancy Boy wheels. Yeah, and uh, I was driving through the mountains over there just ripping it. And, like, I could have just debeated it and, you know, <laughs> right off the cliff. See you, you know, later. But, <sighs> I'm still here, guys. Yeah. Well, I mean, all right, there has to be maybe not extreme stretch, but... I mean, what what about just like really low profile tires or whatnot? Like, you you know, like it, there's still pros what, to just that no, stuff. To no sidewall and just going wider. Yeah, those 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 tires are stiffer, so you know. Understandable. Handling, but you're gonna get a little bit better. But when it comes down to fitment, it doesn't really help. The the low profile tires. Exactly. Unless the reason why the whole you go big, big wheel. Well, I'm saying if you go with a big wide wheel, mm -hmm. the only way you're going to fit it to get that fender to lip is to stretch a tire, you know, to a certain extent like that right there. Like I, you can't sit fender to lip. You're going to have to tuck that bad boy. 100 percent. So the only way to do it is by actually allowing that sidewall to stretch so that the fender can just ease right in there. And you see crazy people. They'll take like a razor to it just to get like that few millimeters off. I, I, it's, that, that stuff is so crazy. Man, it, right? I think it's wild, um, but it's necessary when it comes down to fitment man you never know sometimes that little 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 bit i know it's so funny because like uh i don't know 10 years ago i would have said yeah of course man we do, we, i'll raise my tire I, I i feel how i even was four years ago yeah. i was still all about that now i'm like i just I uh, it's it, uh, my back hurts i can't i can't be driving that thing anymore do, 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 i, I do, opted do, 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 for do, do. too big of a tire on my subaru yeah like, literally too big of a tire yeah you went a little wild a little wider so it, it's crazy how it goes opposite how i was choosing a one that had like extra sidewall yeah no yeah because you went with the the falcons too which yeah. those even run a little bit meatier right and then i still wanted to do a 255 on an eight and a half yeah no but like you know that doesn't even seem as crazy but and, and, as opposed to doing a 205 on an eight and a half I, I dropped off my wheels and I only have like a 225 on there because that's what came stock on there. But even with at an eight and a half at a 225, the guy was like, oh, it's a little bit, you know, it's a good stretch. And I looked at him. I was like, what? I was like, what? I was like, what do you mean? That's a, that's perfect. I was like, what are you talking about stretch? <laughs> and he was like, no, man, that's stretch. I was like, but I was just like, you don't even want to know the list. Jeez. But yeah, I think my craziest was a 205 on a 10. That was on the. I did, I did 225 on my 10, which is I, I think you're not. Well, the reason being is because when I would air out, like I'd feel the subframe bolt go no, I think to I did, the ground. I, think I did 235 on my 10s, which is even less. I mean, so 205, you're out of your mind. Yeah, I was a little crazy back then. What can I say? What yeah. do you want me to do? Nothing. You just know, it's, it's, to achieve learn, the stance, <laughs> to achieve the stance, that golden stance. There's no performance. There's no other beneficials to it besides the stance. Yeah, you well, physically well, needed right, so to do it. What about? What about just having a really low profile tire with no stretch? So in other words, say if you had an 18 inch wheel and you ran like a uh, doesn't wh whatever, say it's an 18 and a half or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and you're running like a hey, that's Evan's car. That's my buddies. Hey, nice decagrams. Yeah. Hey. And then uh, say you ran like an 18 eight and a half, and then you ran like a uh, 225 at a, like a 30 profile, like something like that. I don't think it'd be beneficial for me. I, 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 at that point, if I'm doing an eight and a half, I'd want the What's, I mean, 40 sidewall. What did you run like 35s? I've ran there. I've done it and it's, it's rough. I I, 30, my last I, set I, I had, but there were two 35s, 35s on a 19 by nine. That's a 
I didn't. My stock wheels on my. That was a little baby stretch compared to anything else that I've had. But some people here are probably gonna be like, "Bro, you're crazy." My uh, <laughs> my, my Hyundai came stock with 35s, so it, it was uh 19 eight and a half, and it came with like a 225 35. Yeah, that sounds about that, right. That's that what sounds it came like stock with. And spec. Right. Those those sidewalls on that thing sucked. Yeah, they do. Like it. I had I got flats in that car like every freaking you know, month. But that's that's the thing too. Also with these stands guys, what are you gonna drop the sidewall to the point where they have really no support whatsoever? Well, at least when you stretch a tire, you have a really you have a really stiff thin sidewall. Yeah, but that you know? sidewall is hanging on for dear life. <laughs> yeah, sure. <is. laughs> well, on your stretch, I'm thinking like a more reasonable stretch. Well, again, even my stretch, like compared to if you talk to some kids in stance game running like 195s on tens over there on Miatas, is that possible? It is. I've seen it. It's wild. It's uh, wild. Dude, you think that? What do you think that Celica was running? I don't know. I would just assume. I, I'd assume say that was, 12, was probably by a, a 12 wide with like a 255 on there. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Meanwhile, you were doing a, a 12 wide. Uh, 10 wide on a 235. Yeah. And Again, I feel, it's. And I feel like the freaking man at the time. Dude. <laughs> uh, the craziest things I've done to make things work yeah. is what it is. I mean, it, there has to be a little bit of benefit now. The, ben the benefit is the stance. There is no other benefit. Yeah. It's very dangerous. We do not recommend trying this at home, everybody. Uh, <laughs> that is my disclaimer. Let's put it down there somewhere. Oh I look, I remember the seeing this thing back in the day, too. This thing got real popular. Man, that's Look at just... that. That's actually, if you zoom in, that's a lip on top of another lip. So it's technically a four-piece wheel, not a three-piece. Oh, Story about this guy. Uh, he's he's actually from the Bronx, I'm pretty sure. And we went to H2O. That I think that photo is from H2O. And the cop pulled him over while I think when he was on the trailer still and was like, don't even think about taking this off the trailer. Like, if you take this off the trailer, it's an instant impound for you. Like, there's no <laughs> if, ends, or buts. Like, dude, that's just wild. Yeah, wow. Now, yeah. Can you click on the RX-7, Max? RX-7 is looking nice. Yeah, look at that that wheel spec, though. But again, it's beneficial for the fitment only. The part of me... You get into that car, it's probably going to drive like a turd. Dude, part of me wants to cry looking at such a beautiful car like that. Ah, you know, it's all right. Kind of overly done. In again, it, but it's not It's not something I'm against. It's oh, what is that? What is the crap bucket up on the top right? Oh, man. What is that? Oh. Uh. Yeah, that's a Bozuzoku. That's a Bozuzoku. <laughs> yeah, you never. Oh, yeah, we were talking about. <laughs> me and Scott were on last week with that. Yeah, the Bozuzoku. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm I'm all about the stance. I like stance, uh, but it really comes down to. But, but if it's just overkill or not, some people, people like to go overkill. Stance, yeah, like that right there to me is great stance. Like even with that camber, I think it's perfect right there. But plenty of people can have good stance without having cambered out wheels and having uh, stretched tires. It's a different type of stance. You know, you got your performance stance. You got your fitment stance. Like, that's beautiful to me. That's Ew. beautiful. Nothing wrong with that. Dapper. <laughs> I know, but there's nothing wrong with that fitment. No, nothing saying. wrong with that fitment at all. Nothing I, wrong with I that mean, fitment. That, that's wild. That you thought that Ferrari was wild? Yeah, because it's on a Ferrari. Oh, you're crazy. I'm no. all about it. You're right. I'm gonna get a Ferrari and do that to it. Yeah. Hold on. Go to that big body Lexus right there. See me? That camera's a little bit too much. If you took that out just a little bit, that would be mwah, primo. I like that. See? That's good. That's cool. There's a lot of different stuff over here. I mean that's pretty. That's more conservative, I guess. But see, but again, it, there's nothing wrong with conservative that's a, that's fitment, fitment as long as it's executed perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. That's a problem. I hate to say one. I, I didn't even mean to say perfectly. I know. Executed you right. You know how much, I, how much I used to mess around with my coils every single day to try to dial Dude, it in. Dude, I right? was. Uh, you you. Didn't, Again, my phone books I, I, and my magazines. Well, actually, you don't understand what I would do. You're like well, Richie, if you saw, like it'd be like, okay, put two magazines, air out. All right, let's take the two. Ma but, not enough. Okay, Three you, magazines, air boo out. Boo-hoo. You, you, <laughs> don't boo-hoo boo me. You, you fill up your bags and you press a button Stop or whatever it, guy. You make, it like, you I, make you this like this I, was my first rodeo, bro. It, like, I, I never I'm had taking off the wheel. Overs. I'm taking off the wheel and you got to sit there with a mallet and a screwdriver. You want to you wanna know how you could have avoided that? Every little. You want to know how you could have avoided that? I think that was that? a I think that was a quarter of an inch. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how you could have avoided that. Before you install them, you just spin them all the way down. Have a good day, guys. 
you never have to mess with it again. The, the next time you want to go check them out, they're seized, whatever it may be. You got WD-40 everywhere. You what do your, you think? You, air, the, you think you, air ride you, guys really have it made? You huh? have these little crappy keys that they give you, stop and then you're over it. here. Stop it! You hit, you hitting, really, hitting the yeah, strut every really, single time. I don't even, uh, this is it, why I can't get on this podcast ass. with this guy. Yeah, I can't. Because one, oh, I'm but, static. I have to ready, hit the ready. thing and the thing and the I'm, thing. Psh, uh, oh. Yeah, psh, line goes boom. You're right back down. You ain't going nowhere <laughs> today, boy. Oh man, my fingers hurt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it was a it, pain in the ass, man. It was a pain in the ass to do all that, honestly. Listen, I'm gonna say this, and I think everybody who's a car guy will agree with me here. Cars in general are a pain in the ass, no matter what it is, who it is, what suspension, what wheels, they're always going to be a pain in the ass. You know what's always the worst thing? Like, the, people have like, all the jokes about it and whatever it may be, but it's really true. Whenever you're like, oh, this will only take me 20 minutes or something like that. And no, then, never. It's and, never then, and then, like, your car, never like you're not even ready thing. to drive it tomorrow. No, <laughs> it's, it's like, not, never a 20 minute. I started thing. a project, now I'm, now I'm screwed. Now a car's going to sit in that driveway for a week. Yeah, that's... <laughs> That, that's really true, though. It know? is. Like, there were some times where you could do something over and over again, and you can kind of get used to it or whatever it may be. Like, uh, um, on one of my cars, I used to uh, bring to the dealership for oil changes or whatever it may be, but I had some aftermarket parts. So I would actually switch in and out the parts every time I go to the dealership. Um, so you're good to take care of that, uh, that like, free oil change warranty things that they give you or whatever. You <laughs> and, like... Every single time you do it over and over again, whatever it may be, intake, whatever it was, and you're just like, this is always a pain in the ass. Every time. You want to actually know something? Every single time it's a pain in the ass. I, I got lucky what. with mine when I first bought my car. So I took it to a, uh, a dealership that had guys who modified cars, and it's just a Volkswagen scene in general. Um, the dude, <laughs> anytime my car pulled up, I spoke to the mechanic when, I, when he used to do like warranties and stuff for me. And I remember going up to him and be like, hey, dude, like, you know, you think you could not say anything about this mod or this mod? He goes, oh, dude, he's like, nobody touches your car but me because nobody wants to. <laughs> and I laughed and I was like, all right, like, so I feel comfortable that you're yeah. going to be the only one doing it. He goes, and just so you know, your car is completely stock anytime I put it into the computer. And I was just <laughs> like, you're the man. Here's lunch on me today, pal. There you go. It's always, listen, it's, uh, I, I've been lucky on that. That, sh that shit with inspections are dead now in New York. What do you mean? With, like, buying inspection stickers? I don't think we should be talking about no. that right now. Yeah, I guess not. That shit's dead, though. That, it was never legal <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> yeah, so I, I feel all that. Yeah. But Everybody uh, always knew a guy, but now nobody knows a guy anymore. No one knows nah, a guy no. anymore. Wow, no. I can't believe it. Like, I still know a guy, but I can't tell anybody was, about my guy. It was <laughs> such a simpler time. Oh, back in the day. It was yeah. so great. It was such a simpler time getting away with stuff. Yeah, not anymore. And then all these other, what, EPA crap that's going on. It's going to start ruining stuff. I'm more worried about these uh, construction zone cameras. <laughs> Is that still going on? Because I don't take that like. You want to know something? I, I haven't seen them. They, I saw them for like a week straight after they first mentioned it. Mm -hmm. But I'd see these cameras sitting on the side of like the parkways and uh, highways with no construction zone around them. So just there. Just like, there. Just click, 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 click. Taking pictures as you're rolling by. I don't take that lie, so. No, I take it every day. Yeah, that's a. Uh, the lie. It's a rough one, man. It's not that bad, actually. Well, not get that. in the. Uh... What's it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to be I, honest, I don't know what I, that ad kind of threw me off. I'm like, what did Max just put up here? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Those things. But that's on the truck, though. You're saying it doesn't look like that anymore. No, no, I'm saying that's what it looks like. But if you look, look around, look at the picture around. Look around the picture that's there. Do you see any construction zone? No. So it's taking pictures of people not even in a construction zone who are speeding. Well, there's and, your construction zone. Well, that's a separate photo. I'm saying look at this photo, though. I don't know, man. It could be the same photo. Ah, it's definitely Get not. In. <laughs> definitely not. What do you think? This is a 3D image? No, it's called a money grab. It is a money grab. Yeah. It's 100% a money grab. People got to pay their taxes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I think I'm good. I think I'm good, too. Guys, thank you. Uh, we go live every Wednesday, 2 p.m., Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and whatnot. And uh, Behind the Wheel Podcast every uh, Wednesday at 3 o'clock. We have a piece of content coming down this Friday. Check it out on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. Take care. Have a good one, guys.